When I start singing, actually, the first music I've ever heard, it was the Oriental music. Uh, when you live in an Oriental place or Middle Eastern country like uh, Syria, um, you have this music all around you. There, yeah, there is Ezan, there is uh, uh, also the music on the TV. In my age, we didn't have really satellites. It, we had only the local TV. And uh, all the time, they used to, to put the concert for the big singers, like Uncle Sum Fairuz. <laughs> So I had the chance to see the great performance actually when I was a kid. Also at the school, I was lucky to uh, to uh, born to born in an Armenian family, and my mother she's Syriac also. So I get the music from the school, from the church, from everywhere. So I was actually surrounded by the Oriental music. At the same time, my father, he used to play trumpet in a big band in Aleppo. I was born in Damascus, but he, born in, uh, he was born in Aleppo. So uh, he used to, to play jazz all the time, listen to jazz. music and till now I still in love with this music in Syria we didn't have a jazz department so I had to sing I decided to sing a classical singing because you know in in Armenian music uh, the classical music is closer you can even find the traditional music on on the classical way so uh, it was I, I used to hear it when I was young you know when I was child you know Anush opera now I sing I sing Anush opera I so um, I've this I've choose to, to study classical singing. In the end, I've had um, a, a little bit of everything and that affect my personality and in the end my music become the mirror of my soul. The first music I ever learned it was Armenian music uh, because at, I was in Armenian school and so uh, in the church we used to sing every day and to hear every day the Armenian hymnus, the Armenian um, um, songs. So that was the base of all, all the other kind of music that um, I keep building till now. Um, till now I feel like the, the Armenian melody touch me very very deep um, but the uh, the um, the arabic text it touched me in a different way so but the melodies armenian and the text is arabic <laughs> like my personality because I'm gypsy, I'm a free person, I'm free soul at the same time I still have the, the rules, I still have the values and plus I came from a traditional oriental society but I keep traveling all the time so all the time I have new values, I've learned new stuff, I meet new people and uh, for sure new culture. Jazz is 
just like the, the people, I think. It's free music, it's an open music, and with the time, people need to express themselves. So even in the Middle East, people were going out themselves, going out of the limits, out of the borders, and they made this music, but at the same time, when you play the, 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 the Occidental music, you feel like there's, for me, it was like, there's something missing, I need to express something more. And that's how how it worked for me so I think it's also like this for the other people who like to play the oriental music at the same time they like to they, they like the occidental influence or, or the occident, occidental base for, for some people <laughs> Actually, we were um, going so far since, like, uh, it's my. Um, I've been singing as a professional singer. There is 11 years ago, 11 years now. So during my career, I was lucky to have the festivals back, to have the opera house. Uh, I, I was in the singing in the opening of opera house. So I was lucky actually to to be in the middle of all the new musical mo movement, cultural movement in Syria. But unfortunately now everything is uh, kind of stopped. I respect a lot my musicians, friends, my artists, the, the, the artists who are still in Syria and still fighting to make their music with all the death around them. They still believing in, in life, whatever it's going on around them. we can cross all the limits and and all the borders so uh, for me music teached me a lot even as a person it's not only about the music but the most important thing is all, always it's like the life to deal with good musician to deal with good person to deal with good people otherwise you will never be able to make to, con to connect them that's for me so I was lucky also to meet great musicians, great people and uh, tomorrow you will see how, how the music is taking me away, <laughs> it's making me fly. So um, this music touched my heart and uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs>